spontaneous me spontaneous me nature the loving day the mounting sun the friend i am happy with the arm of my friend hanging idly over my shoulder the hillside whitened with blossoms of the mountain ash the same late in autumn the hues of red yellow drab purple and light and dark green the rich coverlet of the grass animals and birds the private untrimmed bank the primitive apples the pebble stones beautiful dripping fragments the negligent list of one after another as i happen to call them to me or think of them the real poems what we call poems being merely pictures the poems of the privacy of the night and of men like me this poem drooping shy and unseen that i always carry and that all men carry no once for all avowed on purpose wherever are men like me are our lusty lurking masculine poems love thoughts love juice love odor love yielding love climbers and the climbing sap arms and hands of love lips of love phallic thumb of love breast of love bellies pressed and glued together with love earth of chaste love life that is only life after love the body of my love the body of the woman i love the body of the man the body of the earth soft forenoon airs that blow from the southwest the hairy wild bee that murmurs and hankers up and down that gripes the full-grown lady flower curves upon her with amorous firm legs takes his will of her and holds himself tremulous and tight till he is satisfied the wet of woods through the early hours two sleepers at night lying close together as they sleep one with an arm slanting down across and below the waist of the other the smell of apples aromas from crushed sage plant mint birch bark the boy's longings the glow and pressure as he confides to me what he was dreaming the dead leaf whirling its spiral whirl and falling still and content to the ground the no form stings that sights people objects sting me with the hub sting of myself stinging me as much as it ever can anyone the sensitive orbic underlap brothers that only privileged feelers may be intimate where they are the curious roamer the hand roaming all over the body the bashful withdrawing of flesh where the fingers soothingly pause and edge themselves the limpid liquid within the young man the vexed corrosion so pensive and so painful the torment the irritable tide that will not be at rest the like of the same i feel the like of the same in others the young man that flushes and flushes and the young woman that flushes and flushes the young man that wakes deep at night the hot hand seeking to repress what would master him the mystic amorous night the strange half-welcome pangs visions sweats the pulse pounding through palms and trembling in circling fingers the young man all colored red ashamed angry the souse upon me of my lover the sea as i lie willing and naked the merriment of the twin babes that crawl over the grass in the sun the mother never turning her vigilant eyes from them the walnut trunk the walnut husks and the ripening or ripened long round walnuts the continents of vegetables birds animals 
the consequent meanness of me should I skulk or find myself indecent, while birds and animals never once skulk or find themselves indecent. The great chastity of paternity to match the great chastity of maternity. The oath of procreation I have sworn, my Adamic and fresh daughters, the greed that eats me day and night with hungry gnaw, till I saturate what shall produce boys to fill my place when I am through, the wholesome relief, repose, content, and this bunch plucked at random from myself. It has done its work. I toss it carelessly to fall where it may.